Well, the future of transportation is getting a jump start in Philadelphia, and it's happening inside a college classroom. That's right, the Community College of Philadelphia, close to us, actually. Mm -hmm. UP students mm -hmm. are rolling up their sleeves to build something that could soon be driving a lot of change. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Madeline Wright takes us inside the classroom where innovation is on the fast track. Mm -hmm. So that should be a tour with our team. But Community College of Philadelphia student Abdul Sokna is getting hands on experience with technology that's changing the auto industry. There we go. I feel good about it. It's challenging and then it's, it's helping us learn new things. For the first time, students in CCP's automotive program are building an electric vehicle from the ground up. The car is one of only 400 like it in the world. The biggest challenge, I think, is just getting like all the wires and, you know, learning all the schematics. There's a chain guard. Instructor Richard Saxton says the students aren't just learning technical skills. They're helping shape the future of transportation. They're doing pretty good. I think we're going to make it. We have a deadline and next Wednesday. I'm hoping we'll be able to drive this car out of here by next Wednesday. As the world shifts toward cleaner energy, and sustainable technology, these students are learning to lead the charge. I mean, everything is changing now. Everything is just technology, so having a technology cars is, is very important for the future. And see. For Abdul Sokna, this is more than just a class assignment. It's preparation for a lifelong dream, working at his dad's auto repair shop in Germantown. But my main dream is just to be Go to, go to the top as high as I can. Students are planning to finish the car next week and take it out for a little spin. Then the instructor will take apart all the components and get them ready for the next high voltage class in summer 2026. In West Philly, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia.